Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-Z.com on the interwebs, laying down some CLSology for your bitch asses here on a Monday morning. Democracy. Oh, democracy. How I fucking despise democracy. Despise everything about it. The lowest common denominator. That's what we're talking about today. The lowest fucking common denominator. Let me just tell the story. Because I'm sitting here trying to think about how to bring this in. Let me just get to the story. I have a group of friends I go out with every week. And we have some beers and play cards and whatnot. And recently, in the span of things, because I've been doing this with evolving groups of friends for well over 10 years. Recently, into the fold of this group of friends came somebody that we knew from someplace else, and she joined the group. And she doesn't drink alcohol, so she doesn't drink at the bar. And she's a left-wing statist slash femistatist. And let's just get to the common denominator, lowest common denominator part. She's a vampire. You see, her skin is so precious that it cannot be touched by sunlight. Now, for those of you who have listened for a while, you've heard me make this argument before. That humans evolved. We did this thing called evolution. It's been circumvented by the state. It's why people like her are still alive. We evolved outside in the sun. While humans were evolving, they didn't have buildings and sunscreen. Humans evolved in the fucking sunlight. So when you have people like her running around going, well, the sun can't touch my body because I burn. Well, guess what? Natural selection and evolution say you should be dead. Instead, your DNA is here. So because the vampire princess cannot sit outside on the patio because the sun will touch her precious body. Her overweight body, I might add, with a mustache. <clears throat> we can't sit outside because the sun cannot touch her precious body. So we all have to sit inside the bar instead of sitting outside enjoying the nice weather. Why? Well, because democracy. Because we don't want to hurt her feelings and because we want to be inclusive. And so not hurting people's feelings and being inclusive means, by fucking default, it means that you must lower the bar, lower the expectations, lower the standards, lower everything to the capabilities of the least competent person in the group. Everybody else wants to sit outside. There's one person in the group who can't be touched by sunlight because she's a vampire princess. And so everybody else because they, and I'm, I'm about to reach the, well, we're about to go into winter where there will be no sitting outside. When next summer rolls around, I may put the hammer down, assuming I'm still associating with these people. Because she can't be touched by sunlight, everybody else has to sit inside the bar. We can't sit outside. Lowest 
fucking common denominator. This, my friends, is multiculturalism, this is tolerance, this is diversity, this is inclusiveness, this is political correctness, this is democracy. I've talked about this over and over and over before. Democracy always means lowering everything to the standards of the least competent person in the group. And of course, for democracy here in the United States, you're talking about lowering everything to the standards of the least competent people in our entire society. And of course, just because I want to touch on this one last time, I talked about this in the previous edition of Stating the Obvious, which I believe is number 199. Who are the least competent people in society as a whole here in the United States? Who are the people whom, if evolution and natural selection were not circumvented by the state, who are the people that would be dead? Victims. The lowest common denominator in our society are the victims. And that is why the state seeks to reduce everybody to victimhood. Oh, victimhood. Because see, I just, I have to mention this again. I talked about it in 199, saying the obvious, 199. The rally of the handicapped people about sitting there talking about how they're discriminated against. Let me repeat myself for those of you who didn't hear it. Walking down, there it is, on public property, Civic Center Park. Property purchased and maintained with my tax money, government-owned property, which is public, but of course I can't do anything there without a permit, but it's public, but I own it because I own the government, but not really because the government tells me what to do because I'm actually a slave. But anyway, right there, public property, a bunch of handicapped people in their fucking wheelchairs having a rally talking about how they are discriminated against. Wheelchairs. Motorized wheelchairs. The vans with the ramps so you can drive your wheelchair in it. And then the ramp lifts you up and you drive your wheelchair in. Fucking self-propelled wheelchairs. People sitting there who are getting checks from the government in wheelchairs purchased by the government, in vans purchased by the government, on government land, sitting there talking about how fucking discriminated against they are. Fuck, let me explain something to people. Handicapped people in the United States of America are probably the most privileged humans on the planet Earth. These people are getting a shit ton of resources given to them by the state. None of those people bought those wheelchairs with their own money. None of those people bought those vans with their own money. None of those people are paying for their caregivers from their own money. Everything those fucking people have is given to them by the state via wealth redistribution. These are those people in that park, in those fucking wheelchairs, whining about how discriminated against they are, are the most privileged people on the planet. Even more privileged than single mothers with their welfare and their wick and their motherfucking alimony and their child support. White people in wheelchairs in the United States of America are the most privileged humans on the planet. And they're sitting there in this park trying to confer upon themselves victim status. Why? Because in our society, in the United States of America, it's a race to the bottom. It's democracy. Everybody wants their way, and the way you get your way is by being a victim. And until 
we get rid of democracy, until we get rid of the state, until we reach a place in human evolution where we can go back to striving to be excellent, like we did back in the days when evolution and natural selection actually worked, it's just going to keep getting worse. Until we as a society and as individuals, because it starts with individuals and it moves to society, until we as individuals decide we are no longer going to tolerate the lowest common denominator as a standard. We're all going to have to keep sitting inside the bar instead of sitting on the patio in the sunshine where we can see all the cute girls walking by.